Hey, top of the morning to you. I'm here this morning and uh, I was um, sort of thinking about the next video and what to do. And uh, I sort of thought, you know, I've read a few really good books that I've found a lot of value in. Um, and specifically my role as a man and in a family, in a workplace, um, as a husband. And I just wanted to share these books with you. And I would really encourage if you're looking for, um, I guess, a bit more security in your identity as a Christian man to check these books out. Uh, really cool. I learned a lot. I still um, think about a lot of these uh, topics that were shared in the books. So this is kind of my shameless plug for these books, but I'm not uh, I'm not getting paid or anything like that. So I don't really have any other motivation other than to pass along um, some reading material that supplements the Bible and uh, yeah, just help me along sort of my journey. So the first one that I have uh, is Paul Coughlin, I believe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it is called Unleashing Courageous Faith. There it is. I hope that it doesn't look backwards. It's a great book. Uh, I read this book probably, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago, two years possibly. And uh, this is the book that really encouraged me to uh, step up, uh, step up in my roles, really embrace my roles, as I mentioned earlier, and to, um, yeah, just live boldly, live boldly and to accept who I was created to be. So I thought that was pretty cool. And um, yeah, so I, I would encourage you to check that book out. Uh, lots of good concepts, uh, good meditation sort of stuff. So that's book number one. Uh, book number two, Letters of to the Church. Letters to the Church uh, by Francis Chan. Uh, I read this one on a vacation uh, that my wife and I went to. We went to Punta Cana and sitting on the beach and I read this book and uh, the best part of that trip for me was reading this book. It awakened um, something in me and, and I, I'm still trying to figure it out because I don't know what it was, but my faith grew immensely. I became stronger. I became more convicted, uh, more intentional. So it was crazy. Um, I don't expect everybody who reads this book to um, have the same sort of experience that I had with it. But there's a lot of great thought provoking sort of ideas in this. And um, yeah, if you want a good book to read, and you want to be challenged uh, in your faith and who we are, read that book. Thumbs up for me. Uh, the last one, I just finished this one about two days ago. Paul Morley, The Christian Man. Now, this book is a little bit different than uh, the other two books that I just mentioned. The reason being is it is more based around, I'm going to say like a, a small group, like a, like a men's group. And uh, he, he gives some really good ideas how to uh, sort of structure things, things to consider, um, how to witness to other men. And um, yeah, it was really cool. Um very practical, I would say, uh, definitely, you know, very God centered and Bible focused, which is always important. You got to have that. And, uh, yeah. So if you're thinking about joining a men's group, starting a men's group, or you have a desire for men's ministry, I would definitely recommend reading this book and sort of chewing on it and see what you walk away with. Now, last one, um, is what they call the Bible. Uh, written by God and uh, about 40 authors, I believe, 66 books. Um, great book, a little cheesy. I'll accept that. I know it was totally cheesy, but I can't talk about um, good reading material without putting in uh, the Bible, of course. So I just wanted to pass that along. Uh, check them out if you're interested. Um, like I say, lots of good quality stuff in there and challenging, which I think is really important. I don't think as believers and especially men, I don't believe that we're challenged quite enough and not in the sense of smarten up, be better, but I mean like really walking in our faith. So I just want to take a few minutes and share that with you. Um, yeah, and have a great day and we'll catch you on the next video. See ya.